What's going on guys? So real quick before this video started, um, the footage I was filming in the beginning showing you all of this, this was just going to be a way for me to add to the other video that I posted right before this. I thought I was going to be slick and post a quick video showing, you know, how adding poor boys could make it even quicker. In retrospect, do not go outside. Yes, winter washes are fine, and a lot of people's winters do not go below a certain temperature. I understand that. That's awesome. You can go out there up to 33, 34, 35 degrees, but once it gets colder than that, it's not good. I'm sure if I would have hosed off the foam a lot quicker, it would have not had as much problems. Look at this. I got to clean this too. But the problem I had was basically I let it sit for too long. I thought I was going to let it dwell. I screwed up. So that's where this video is going to be. It's a fail, but I always admit to everything good or bad. So enjoy the video. What an idiot. Okay, everybody. So here's some bonus features, some bonus footage. Um, ironically enough, it's now a couple days after, <laughs> probably about a week after the initial wash that we did and here's the problem it's still dirty outside the car's still dirty and I loved this new method so much that I felt like you know what I'm gonna do it again this time I'm gonna modify it ever so slightly so just for the hell of the video just so you could see it's not a joke it is in fact colder much colder than it was about last week it supposedly feels like it's about 17 degrees there's a pretty vicious wind outside it's very cold very brittle outside i know some of you viewers are going to come and say oh that's nothing here in uh this one part of canada we get negative degrees <laughs> jesus that's cold too you know whatever this is what we got so the setup is very much the same we've got our rinse wash inside towels are soaking we've got our scum cloth for the exhaust tips We've got poor boys, we've got all this stuff, and yes, we do have smoking action. I'm just going to give a quick walk around of how much dirtier the car is this time around. Also, the rims dirty as hell too really really dirty so you can't really make it out but it's starting to get really dark out which makes it colder I pressure wash the wheel real quick put the wheel cleaner poor boy's touchless and then I'm gonna hose it off so I'm not insane I'm just passionate and I don't feel like ever going to a car wash I'm freezing my hands are shivering but look at this. Oh yeah, baby. We're getting some crazy sudsies here. The initial spray off took care of a lot of the big debris. This will take care of most of the little. And then we're gonna pressure wash this off, pull this inside, and we are going to attack this car with a proper rinseless wash in the warmth of our garage it's actually so cold outside that the soap the foam is turning into little foamsicles <laughs> oh my god i can't so when i said my car was a giant icicle i really wasn't kidding Not the Disney movie. It's like ice. Oh, holy shit. Look, it doesn't want to come off. That's how cold it is outside. Oh, it's now icy. I'm 
walking around the car falling. As you can see, the hose isn't gonna do shit. So, <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this fail footage, but this was a pretty big fail. I noticed that the car had some icicles. Yeah, car had some icicles. Literally, the foam froze to the car. That's how cold it is outside. So, I mean, I mean, this, this is this is crazy. I got off as much as I possibly could without touching the paint, but I mean, come on, seriously, that's 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 soap. That's soap. That's frozen. That's what this is. So, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do with this. Cause that's, this is no good. This is no good. This is, I mean, it's kind of funny. I mean, look at this. That's, so I'm, I'm thinking, moral of this story, I mean, the whole car's frozen. Literally, it's 100% ice. And I don't wanna touch anything until it melts. The whole car's ice. Which is crazy. And you would think I would be smart enough to realize that this is exactly what would happen if you washed a car below freezing. But I didn't think that this would happen. I mean, literally, that's a snowball. Right here. Lesson learned. Good way to end this. Maybe like a fail video. You gotta be kidding me. So basically I did everything that I, w I did normally with the other wash. Except I just wanted to show you how much quicker the poor boy spray and rinse was. Now my garage is... I would say sort of heated. So this is all gonna melt off and then I'm gonna spray wipe the whole car down. So, I mean, this is, look at this. This is insane. I, I've never, someone's gonna die here too. Someone's actually gonna die right there. I, I, at least this is not a situation where you're gonna not believe me how cold it is and that this is soap. Cause that's soap. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, yeah, you can do this until it hits below freezing and then don't do this. More stuff like this is gonna happen because that's just the way I am. That's just, that's a little bit funny. And you know, I'll film it and I'm honest about stuff. <laughs> what? I can't right now. I can't even, this is the worst. This is just, <sighs> at least it's a pH neutral uh, foam, so. That's cool. This is a freaking fail. Do not wash your car when it's under 32 degrees outside. You would think that this was just some kind of common sense situation, but it's not. Apparently it's not. This whole back window is ice. I mean, this is, that's, come on. Polar ice caps. That's what this is. So I'm gonna go cry in a corner right now. I got the heat on. My car's still frozen. I'm going to get some uh, hot water from upstairs. Really warm water to try and defrost my car. So, at this point, I don't care if there's a lot of water on the ground because it'll go out the door. I'm just gonna leave that door open a little bit. I'm more concerned about getting the uh, getting this off the car without having to do any. Oh, that's crazy. Would I have to do any uh, crazy things? Look at that. That's insane. That's soap. The best fail videos are the the real ones. The fail videos that. No one actually intended the true fails, and um, that's what this is. This is a true fail. I've got problems here. I froze my Hellcat, because I'm a moron. I think it's gonna be okay, though. I'm just gonna keep dumping water on this 
ice. This ice that's all over my goddamn car. But this is gonna be one clean car. I mean, everything's frozen. My wicker bill. Every damn thing is frozen. Here are my rims. So this is actually helping. It's actually warming up my garage pretty good. Look at that. Steam. And this water's not even that hot. It's crazy. Froze my Hellcat. I'm most annoyed about. Oh, that's... That's great. Great! <sighs> what am I going to use to stop this? Stop. Stop there. Nice. Get the f*** out. Get out! We're having a problem here. This is starting to try to, it's trying to come here, but it can't, it can't, look at this. Icicle. Ah, <sighs> oh, shit. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, we just, we had a problem, but we diverted the flow, because there is a flow here, a heavy one, Jesus, a lot of water here, this is insane, look at this wheel, oh, now you see it's an SRT. What? It's like a science experiment. Oh, what? It's crazy. Insanity. You know, it's funny how things in life work out. I was making this video to just have like a tiny little clip, a little clip like in the beginning of this, where, you know, we just show that we can uh, clean the wheels faster. Now, here's my thing. When I first washed this car, it was 35 degrees outside. That's as, uh, as cold as it can get. Everything's pretty much done. This is the only issue. I got this wheel and the other back wheel. But as you can see, I mean, there's ice. It's, it's legit ice. So I basically took this bucket, I took the Solo cup, and I just started gently pouring it all over. I mean, this one's not so bad. This one's starting to get better. I'm just glad nothing bad happened. Basically, what I'm gonna have to do now is what I was planning on doing when I pulled it in. I was gonna do the, the uh, rinseless wash. So what I'm gonna do right now is do the rinseless wash, dry the car off, and that'll be that. Stupid! Oh my god! Alright, let's, uh, I'm gonna finish washing this car and then I'll be back in a second. Alright everybody, welcome back. This is a more familiar sight for you all. Again, I apologize because I truly don't know what the hell I was thinking, but accidents happen. But as you can see, we'll try to get a decent angle here. The paint looks flawless. Once again, I did a rinseless wash after I got all of that frozen foam. <laughs> the frozen foam. I, unbelievable. This thing, lifesaver. Again, if you haven't seen my video on this, go check it out. This thing was great. My garage is a disaster zone right now. It never looks like this. I'm not even going to bother cleaning it tonight. I'm so disgusted. But as you can see, everything once again looks good. If you can see from the video before this, it was really kind of almost trashed with ice. I was a little nervous because I thought maybe the ice was going to scratch my paint or cause any issues, but nothing happened. That's my American flag from Lux Auto. Awesome. As you can see, everything looks good. The wheels came off well. Everything's good. Heated up in here. I would say this garage sitting Right now would be 70s and 70s or so in here. Just to close, like I said, look at this. 
just look at this. This is all that water soak from having that five gallon bucket. Um, if it's below 32, do not do this wash. If it's above 32, like 34, 35, 36, like I was last time, I didn't have this problem. So at least there's the guideline. If it's too cold outside, my suggestion is gonna be do rinseless washes more frequently inside and don't let it get too bad. Because if you let it get too bad, you really only have a few options. You can try to pressure wash it and get it in the garage real quick and don't use any foam. Or go to a car wash, which is really not a good option. You know, some of us don't have a garage and I get that. I, I understand that. I didn't have a garage for a long time and it's, it's totally unavoidable. You just got to find your happy medium and figure out what works for you. But that's it. Everything's good. Everything is cleaned. There is not one single icicle issue here. Everything's gooch. Take what I've done as an example to not do in your future endeavors. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and the like button. That thumbs up, it means a lot. Uh, again, I just wanted to show you that the car is clean, so at least maybe I won't get bashed too much. And there's no scratches, there's no nothing. Everything's good with the paint. I messed up. Simple as that. Simple as that, everybody. I'm not used to doing it, but everybody's human. And the part of my channel that I'm more proud of than anything is the fact that that word honest is true. I am honest. When I mess up, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to show you what I did wrong. This way we can all sit there and figure out what it was that went completely horribly wrong. And this way maybe somebody will get some kind of benefit out of it. Plus maybe somebody will laugh. Maybe somebody hasn't seen this happen before because I certainly haven't. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. I can't believe. Oh, this is really easy. Dude, this is legit ice. I thought I was the coolest motherfucker ever. I was gonna wash my car in the winter. I froze my fucking car.